Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how to do a, uh, a faux uh, infrared photograph or a fake color photograph uh, using um, DxO's uh, Photo Lab uh, version 6. Uh, has a, there's a really cool uh, tool on here that allows you to shift colors around in specific colors. So I'm going to show you how to use that. So the first thing to do is find a photograph that has a lot of green in it. Uh, because, because, and really, the more saturated the green, the the better it it will be. So uh, I have this photograph here. There's some green in it. Uh, you may also want to make sure there's some sky and some clouds in it because it will look better if there's sky and, and clouds in it as well, and the effect will be uh, more apparent. So typically, uh, a color infrared uh, uh, photograph is often the foliage is rendered as red in it or a, a very uh, kind of deep orange or red often so uh, that's what we're gonna do here so we need to go over here to the the uh, color section over here in uh, photo lab and we're gonna go down to uh, HSL which stands for hue saturation and uh, illuminance and uh, we're going to take this tool here, and there's in the center here, there's a uh, hue picker, and I'm going to just um, click on that for the uh, dropper, select it, and I'm going to go over here somewhere in where the green is and th these trees and click on this. And you'll see it's selected an area of uh, this is color wheel here. It's also selected uh, green up here. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this slider right here. You see, we can slide this and we're going to move it down to kind of the red area here to give it uh, the effect of an infrared picture. Now, you can adjust this somewhat because we can actually uh, take these sliders here and move them in so that we can fine tune it to however we want. This slider up at the top of the inner circle kind of feathers, I guess, um, the colors. And this one here changes, this bottom one will change what hues change over. So, and we can do that on either side if we need to in a particular picture. But this picture kind of works out really well for this. So basically that's all you need to do to kind of get a faux infrared picture using DxO Photo Lab. I'm Dean and this has been Photo Blue and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like.